tales of our pal Bigly. Ireland is the world he loves so well. The wrinkles out of spots and are downright sickly. How he does that, only he can tell. Bigly, Bernie, Molly, and Dan, and never miss a chance to have too much fun. In Tara, Oralu, lots of excitement for everyone. Curiosity's in a hurry, leaving no time to stop and think. The line between wild and crazy gets blurry. Gamers! The inventors of Piggly Winks. Something in the way his eyes start blazing tells us he's on to a brand new plan. His lips curl up, it's downright amazing. Looking for mischief, well, he's your man. Piggly, Fernie, Molly, and Dan, and never miss a chance to have too much fun. In Tara, Aralu, lots of excitement for everyone. Gamers! Go to bed just to wake up early. To get in trouble or on the brink The line between wild and crazy gets blurry Jiggers! The adventures of Piggly Wings Seamus, you need to get your teeth brushed I know, Mom, I will, in a minute <gasps> oh. oh, goodness gracious Sorry, Grandpa, I thought you were reading I was <laughs> But it's way past my bedtime when I'm falling asleep in the middle of a chapter. What are you after now, Seamus? His action figure. Captain Cyclops, and he's an action hero. Whatever, he lost him. No, I didn't. He was on a mission, and now I can't find him. I see. Can you describe this action hero to me, then? Captain Cyclops is super strong. He flies through the sky, doing flips and twirls. And no bad guy stands a chance against him, because with his emerald eye, he, he can, can see into the future. Mm, he sounds spectacular. He is. He writes wrongs, and he saves the world, and he watches over kids when they sleep, so they don't have bad dreams. I got to find him before I go to bed, Grandpa. Sean, are you going to help your brother with his search? Oh, he can go to bed without Captain Cyclops for one night. I'm certain he can. But mightn't you be a bit more understanding? It's just a toy, Grandpa. To you, perhaps. But clearly, Seamus feels otherwise. You know, I had a similar experience with my friend Fernie once. You did? I sure did. Fernie had lost something, too. And Dan and I had no idea how important it was to him. <laughs> Fernando Toro, we're here to take you to school, so come out with your hands up. We've got you surrounded. We know you're in there, Toro. There's no chance for escape. Something's wrong. Buenos dias, niños. Top of the morning to you, Don Toro. Uh, good morning, Don Toro. Um, is there something wrong with Fernie? Uh, I'll let him tell you. <sighs> What's the matter, Fernie? It's Thor. Ooh, your pet goldfish, Thor? Thor the goldfish, named for the fearsome Viking spirit of thunder, known far and wide for his bravery and his terrifying battle cry. So, what about him, Perny? He died. Um, uh, that's too bad. Oh, he certainly is. Want to play some Hurley after school today? Uh, he was a good fish. He never disobeyed me, not once. Oh, I really miss him. Fernie, the best thing to do is uh, to get yourself to school so you can forget about the whole thing. Maybe I should just stay home to be with Tor. You mean you haven't flushed him down the toilet yet? Oh, he was a friend, Bigly. You don't do that to a friend. Oh, I suppose not. The sooner you bury him, the sooner you'll be able to forget him. I don't want to forget him. Mijo, here's your lunch. If you like, I can see to Thor while you're at school. Uh, uh, no. Thank you, Papa. Gracias. But, but he's my fish. I'll do it later.
Bernie, I am bored. Ma. Bored out of my gourd. And they would be too. But they lack a key ingredient. The mind. What we need is an activity. Something with movement. Something to stir the blood. A sport. Are you nuts? That's the same as being bored. No, no, no. Golf is a game, not a sport. <laughs> Tennis, that's it. It's active. There's movement. There's grace. Whoa, whoa. Blah. If there are no more questions, class, you may put away your math books. Uh. In the time remaining, who can tell me some of the things that bring visitors to Ireland? Hector? My dad says people love to come to Ireland for its salmon fishing. He says there's nothing better than Irish salmon. Excellent, Hector. Our fish are highly prized. Doro is a fish. Emily. Some people come to Ireland to see our famous glassmakers. They make crystal balls and vases and beautiful stained glass windows. <laughs> Don't like being by the window. Good answer, Millie. Oh, 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 Don't strain yourself there, Gosford. You may answer. People come to see our historic sites and artifacts. Artifacts like the Book of Kells are called national treasures. Dora, the treasure chest in his bowl. <laughs> Bernie, are you all right? I, I was teaching him to kiss me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh. He can't help it. He's sad because his fish died. But don't worry, we'll help him get over it. Uh, Mr. Hornsby, may I be excused? Certainly, Fernie. Take all the time you need. And if you'd like to stay after school and talk about it, I'll be here for you. Oh, thank you, Mr. Hornsby, but Bigley and Dannon will help me. Oh, very well. Yo, Bernie, what's taking so long? <laughs> You're still stretching? <laughs> Not to be cocky, Bernie, but you better save something for the match. Ground strip. Long. Oh, and before I forget. There. Looking good. Finally. I know you're tired, so I'll go easy on you. I foresee a victory. Poor Fernie. He just wasn't himself in school that day. We had to cheer him up, and in our minds, the best way to do that was to make him forget Paul. Taking your time going home, are ya? It is a lovely afternoon. I hadn't noticed. Well, I noticed something. Your lunch bag looks just as heavy this afternoon as it did this morning when we left for school. Oh, Piggly, I wasn't very hungry today. Help yourself to whatever you like. Hmm. Let's see what you have here. Oh, no! What is it, Piggly? A sandwich! Raw vegetables! They've turned me into... Vlad the Daft! <gasps> A vampire! Don't worry, Fernie. I'll protect you! Why do they call you daft? Because I always do the opposite of what I'm told. <laughs> well then, don't put this sandwich on your head. <laughs> and don't flop your arms like a chicken! <laughs> 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 I was really sorry to hear about your pet fish, Fernie. What was his name? Oh, uh, his name was Thor. It means thunder. When I feed him, 
His stomach would rumble. <laughs> Jenny Mac, it rumbled like thunder. I like that. That's that's why I named him so. You shouldn't talk to Fernie about Thor, Millie. He's never gonna stop thinking about him if he keeps hearing his name. I'm sorry. What can we do? Oh, this will cheer him up. <laughs> Guaranteed. <laughs> Fernie. I'll bet you can't name this tune. <laughs> oh, that's easy. <laughs> that's party <Paddy> McGinty's gold. <laughs> Many, he knows nearly every song in the entire world. It's almost impossible to stump him. Ooh, try this one, Farty. <laughs> Who's a maid with enough brown hair? <laughs> oh. That's it! <laughs> oh, that's brilliant, Fernie. These are too easy. Give me something hard. Oh, you won't get this one, Fernie. Not in a million years. <laughs> it's... Wait. No. <laughs> you got him, Piggly! Give up, Fernie? Oh, oh! Who threw the overalls in Mistress Murphy's chowder? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Only you played it in the wrong key, Piggly. That's why it took me so long. Jakers, Fernie, you are truly gifted. <laughs> <laughs> Ma? Yeah. I'm ready. Ha! Oh, oh, oh. Ha ha! Whoa, look out. <laughs> look at her go. <laughs> now watch this. I call it tightrope walker. We had succeeded in making Fernie completely forget about his poor fish. Or so we thought. Oh, I'll get it. What is it, Fernie? Something wrong. Uh, I, I was just having so much fun, I... Oh, I forgot about Thor. Well, well, that's good, Fernie. You should forget. I... I suppose I should, but... I don't want to. Uh, maybe, maybe there's... there's something wrong with me. Ah. Uh, would you like to play a little more with the taps? I... I think I'd like to be alone with Thor. Oh, would you mind? But we'll see you later, Fernie. Okay. Clearly, Fernie was still very sad about Thor, and that had us worried. So we did the only thing we could think of. We took our worries to Fernie's father. You two are very good friends to be so concerned about Fernando. He's not getting any better, Don Toro. And we tried everything to cheer him up. Well, niños. This may surprise you, but sometimes it is okay to be sad. But, you see, Don Taro, Fernie's not just sad like losing your ice cream in the muck sad. He's really, really sad. Well, there are times when it's even okay to be really, really sad. Is this one of those times? Because he can't forget Thor? This is one of those times, Danon. You see, there are some things in life we don't want to forget that we shouldn't forget. And he does us good to remember. Fernie's mom had died when Fernie was very small. Seeing the way Don Toro looked at her picture helped Dannon and me understand how if you love someone very much and you lose them, you don't ever forget them. Still, we wondered if Fernie would ever be happy again. Would either of you like a snack? It's tuna fish. No, uh, thank you. Dad! Not after Fernie lost his fish today. He lost his fish? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, is he a bit under the weather then? Yes. We tried to help him forget, but it's not working. The best thing for Fernie to do is to remember the fun he had with his pet and not to be feeling sad about him being gone. Hmm. That's kind of what Don Toro said. We have to find a way to help Fernie remember the good times. 
Have you thought about giving Fernie's fish a wake? Oh, there's no wake in him, Dad. We've seen him. He's done. <laughs> no, son. A wake is an Irish tradition, a celebration of the life that just passed. I've never heard of it. You've been fortunate not to lose any friends or relatives. The traditional wake began as a way for people to show each other their love and support and to honour the dearly departed. Oh, I like that idea, Piggly. Oh, that's it then. We'll have a wake for Tor to celebrate his life and help Fernie remember the good times. <laughs> Bernie, how could you say that? I'm aching to play tennis with you. Literally. Bernie, you gotta believe me, I love tennis. I love the cute shorts. I love the little bracelets. I love the way the winner jumps over the net. Bernie? Here, Fernie. These are for your get-together. A few cucumber sandwiches. Oh, thank you, Mr. Hornsby. Our procession ended at the pond, near Dallin's house. It was the perfect place to say goodbye to Thor. We are here today to honor Thor. Fernie's pet goldfish. He died. So, if you want to share a story about Thor, then, uh, well, go ahead. When my father was a boy, he had a dog that died. It made him so sad he cried for days and days. He wanted to protect me from that same sadness, so I was never allowed to have a pet. As I grew older, I, I realized that although I never knew the sorrow of losing a pet, I also never knew the joy a pet can give you. I'm glad you had the joy of spending time with Thor. Oh, gracias, Papa. Thank you. I knew Thor from the pet store before Fernie bought him. I wanted him for myself, but me mom said we had enough pets already. I was happy Fernie got him. Go ahead, Molly. I like fish. I like to eat them. Baked, poached. Uh, that's fine, Molly. Hector has something to say. I do? Smoked, dried. All right, Molly. We get the idea. And toast? Go ahead, Hector. Quick. Well, uh, I never knew Fernie's fish, but I know Fernie. And, uh, if Tor made Fernie happy, well then, uh, he must have been a good fish. Uh-huh. You do? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Fernie would like to sing now. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, then, as the rest of us listened, Fernie and sang his song. Feel sad, but I won't forget it was cheerful and sweet and sad all at the same time. I gave you your name, and I gave you care. But you give me something much more rare Deep in my heart You'll always be there Now it is time to return Thor to the water Where he belongs Goodbye, my friend. Goodbye, Thor. That was really thoughtful of Mr. Hartsby to give us these cucumber sandwiches. I baked some Montecados for you, Fernie. Montecados? Oh, thanks, Millie. Montecados? Montecados. 
Spanish treats with cinnamon and almonds. Thor used to love them. Mm. Tasty. I'm glad I made you something that reminds you of Thor. Are you feeling better now? Well, I'm still sad, but it's a good sad. Excuse me, everyone. Hello? Excuse me? Thank you all for coming. Thor would have loved his wake. I know now that he will never be forgotten. And I also know that no one in the whole wide world has greater friends than I have. So, you see, Sean, it wasn't until I understood how important Fernie's fish was to him that I could be a true friend and help him deal with his troubles. Yeah, just like I didn't get how important Captain Cyclops is to Seamus. Now, I never thought of that. I get it, Grandpa. I should help Seamus find his toy. I mean, action hero. Never mind. Mom says it's bedtime in five minutes no matter what. I can't find Captain Cyclops and I've looked everywhere. Did you look in the backyard? The backyard? That's where we were playing this afternoon. We weren't in the... Oh, yeah, huh? I didn't look there. Come on, we've got five minutes. I'll get some flashlights. Now, if I had the emerald eye of Captain Cyclops and could see into the future, I imagine I'd see those boys locating a lost action hero just about... Found him! Yes! Thanks, Sean! Mom, Sean, help me find Captain Cyclops! Sure, it's good to know that once again we'll all sleep safely under his watchful eye.